good evening guys today we're gonna be playing a uh, core point um, I just got the, uh, the steam key I mean the uh, launcher key in a uh, email and so uh, this year is not sponsored but I guess you could say it's a sponsored thing I don't know I just got a free access and um, I'm gonna play it so you guys can see it and uh, we all can get our own opinion on it together all right so um i think i have another key all right and uh if you leave a comment or something i can give you the key i don't know uh you probably have to join a discord or something <laughs> for me to be able to give you the key anyways i have one more key here and if anybody's interested you can get a key all right so let's do this. So the game is launched now. I, I think it's about 17 gigabyte to download. And uh, today is Friday, July 5th. If you can't really tell by the sound, I'm actually eating a cheesesteak. So this is a very interesting game for me. Alright, so this is a Cold Point character creator. We have some uh, uh, customization lock. This is the uh, this description. Only the stronger of the orcs can become uh, warmonger, warmongers. Hardened by innumerable battles, they won't be stopped by any threat. All right. Uh, with countless combat under their belt, warmongers are skilled warriors, fearing neither pain nor death itself. They can bring down enemies with suppre uh, suppressive heavy fire or hold the front line with spear and shield. So that is spear and shield right there. Uh, and if necessary, Warmonger can summon a forest beast to help them. So this is mixing magic and technology. The texture on the character it doesn't look like the real like a real person like look at this it's almost uh, like uh, a Fortnite type of design anyways this is the design the aesthetic or whatever they have for the art I don't actually want to make an orc. Yeah. 
this here is the noble warrior champion six out battle and lay for glory of champion type that six out battle and lay for glory the skills looks really nice anyways special ability they can go in uh, they can play as a bowl class and they can play as uh, a warrior class and what is this noble warrior seek I mean champion seek out battle and lays for glory they unleash their range their rage upon their foe like an unstoppable hurricane of fire breaking them with ease and knocking their absolute stuffing out of them this is a bit edgy anyways champion bravely rush into a battle uh, launching a volley of arrow striking enemies with their mighty sword and shield class look uh, very agile and look at their foot they're wearing their uh, sandals uh, Asian Asian sandals like a samurai type class so this is kind of like a samurai and you have various abilities here you can preview and they also have an arrow class I don't know what this class is but it's locked I won't say class it's more like specialty a class takes a lot of stuff a lot of talents to build up this here is more of a specialty Kofan doesn't have classes they have specialties anyways we have uh, this here for jungle Ahmed war uh, warring street gang uh, there's a g ordinary gangster class I guess uh, bright and youthful bomber bombers had to wash up early they fend off for themselves using trickery and razor sharp wits all right and they have uh, daggers guys I think we found a, a class that we can play now anyways uh, coming of age concrete jungle I, mean, I think we already did this a melee assassin will deal massive damage in short amount of time they use double daggers that's my favorite type of class to play we have camouflage we have uh, mind trolls carpet bombing uh, street violence <laughs> Oh my god. We have blasting medic. It's a healing class. Oh, they got dagger still. What is going on here? Oh oh infiltrator. So these races can have uh daggers and they have to locked. So you have male and females, male, female, male, females, if you haven't noticed yet. So these are the, like the same uh, race or same uh, models type uh, classification, I guess. Uh, we will not be doing a female, but for those of you guys who want to see a female character, this is her. Let's go to the other females and just look at them too. I already saw this character, but you guys can see. I have a little dreadlock on this backside. Everything. And look at the other female. I'm wearing skirt. And that's the backside. That's the female. We'll be going with the male. And
I'm interested in something. Interesting, guys. Interesting. You notice the mill doesn't have any shirt on, bro. Stand still. Danger 0.5%. Utility 0.3%. Please speak to the outworldly welcoming specialist. He's supposed to be in the closest proximity. Don't die and have a nice day. <laughs> Do you guess it don't die? So use the uh, right mouse click to move around. I'm going this way, but there's an invisible wall and I can't go there. My character automatically turns away. And the same thing here. All right, looks like I can only go here. Click on him. So you use your Here, left there, mouse to select. Everywhere. And you click away to unselect. So follow this pitch path or whatever. Now you don't have to click always. You can uh, just move around like this. So the map just loaded. It's a little bit of a glitch here. And some players. What's going on? Is that a trail here? of gunpowder? All right. I just click on my abilities and it just added something. So that's my Q. I click Q. 
I think I'm invisible or something. You can scroll down. You can see uh, your character. You can scroll back up. Click F. Nothing happens. I guess that's it. Now, I don't play open world uh, uh, sandbox games, but this here is a sandbox application, so I, uh, I'm a bit lost here. Anyways, I got abilities, some of my attack skills, power, stats. and armor click down here you have dark star forest no owner or whatever maybe there's pvp activities and i am lost i do not know what to do here this is a brief new war speak to the welcoming specialist where is the welcoming specialist? Is there sim? Speak. How do I speak to this person? Let's go. Let's go. Somebody is telling me let's go. Click F. Nothing. And I'm off. Click I, my inventory. Click U, click N for map, I guess. Map shows up. Not talents, not luck. You have weapon mastery. On N, we have weapon mastery. N for map. how the skills progress until you go up to the funnels interesting here I go is this the welcoming specialist so politely right click on it to open your inventory press I No looting here. Blazing a trail. I do not know what to do, but we are just gonna run around. Oh, look at that. We have our ability. When you left click, and when you right click an item that can be lure, your character will automatically attack it. And then we'll pop out and then you'll get that loot. I'm not used to top down games. Kicking up dust. Like uh asymmetric game, it's not top down, it's asymmetric. Now we'll kill some lizard. Ooh. Ooh. Attack at the same time, brother. That's kind of sus. I'll blow them away. Oh, it attacks me. Uh, let's see if my health regenerates. I heard that there was no auto generation with health, so. my health 
a little. So what do I do to heal now? Oof, I cannot go in here. Now one of these things takes my health down to 40 something percent, so I cannot do with two of them. That'll be 47, uh, 42 times two. It should be 86, I mean uh, 84 or something. Oof. Looks like I cannot get that loot, so I'm gonna have to scurry back to the beginning. I'm gonna click I. What is this? Uh, returning. A hero move to the last remember remembered location. We got loading screens. And we are back here, guys. Like the wind. Now that oh, takes 29 it. minutes to load. So I'll have to wait for 29 minutes to be able to get back. Can I regenerate my health here? A lot of people are leaving bad reviews, but I'm not sure. Am I supposed to open Google and like research how to heal myself? I know I'm s I am know campfire can heal me, but there's no campfire here. How am I supposed to to heal myself if there's no campfire? Do I look? I think I should look for campfires. Uh, usually when you go west see civilization so we're gonna go west the character like does not have armor nothing it's just naked just going around town what is this we got a red mushroom that's a snake in the green grass Just keep moving, moving along. I'm gonna save this for tomorrow morning or something. Using a trail. What is this? A uh, raccoon? A scrawl? Oh no! <laughs> I stabbed it in the butt. I would get fur from that. Just growing along, guys. My hit point is low. If this was an open world PvP Fast game, I'd lightning. be dead by now. So. No, that's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, that's how it is. We will just keep going west until we find civilization, guys. Oh, this thing will one shot me. I'm level one. That thing is level six. Oh, let's uh, just look at me and then I'm dead. Uh, vines. We are in Sunrise Grave, which is a safe zone. And we got level six monster chasing us. I'm not sure. I need to find a way to heal myself. But here I am. Can a Q heal me? That's supposed to be stealth. Oh man, I got way too 
many enemies chasing me. Look at that line. Now where am I supposed to find campfire? Or even do the first quest? I don't even know how to do the first quest, bro. So introduce myself. I might be a, a noob. Scrub. Let's blow him up. What level is this thing? Uh, got him. So that's one shotable. Purify wood. My character is now logging. And now we got wood. Somebody asked me, like, how do you recover your hit point? That's funny. I'll just keep running around. This is a Here hardcore game, guys. Uh, I like exploring. But I wish the uh, resources were easier to find. There we go. Now I can go in the campfire. And it won't hurt me. So I guess stay here. Oh, there it is. I think I right click my character. Uh, I, I left click, I guess. Let me see, I left click. And it sits down, all right. Now I can move the camera around to look at my character, but usually when I sit by a campfire like this, I usually like to see my character. Anyways, this is a top. Ooh, it heals fast now, look at that. But I, I can't like, uh, I'm thinking, what if your hit point Moving is a location. bit larger? So we're gonna look at this. Right here, and that's uh, that's west. Let's see. So when I unlock a place, it becomes clear to me. So to unlock this entire map, I should just walk around or something. I guess I'll do that then. I'll go fast as lightning. South. What's this? An ore, iron ore. Gonna mine this. Nice. Alright guys, this is how the game goes guys. We're gonna be doing this. Uh going to farm minions to shot. kill them and why not peace this, uh, and love man peace and love okay just uh give me camp sit in the bush and just money his own business i guess this is a level three mob Oof. You can dodge it a bit, it attacks you. Oh, this thing hits hard. It's not like if I move around a little bit, I can regenerate my health. I guess I have to stand here and duke it out. No. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Mob just killed me, bro. Here I go. What now? My spirit's release. Return to Soul Keeper. Uh, 
what? Uh, my corpse hit this way, I guess. This is supposed to be the stealth ability. But it's alright. Gotta find that course, baby. A chill game, dude. Here I go. Yeah, we are resurrecting. This will help you. I drop your items. Got iron. Got silk wood. Warm or something. Is that a Got trail a of gunpowder? I have to go back every time I kill one minion. I have to travel back to go here. Let's see. We don't have to travel back, guys. This is hardcore. Now, where is that lady? Here? Yeah, it is where we're going. This light can the fountain heal us? Oh, uh, when you click here, you click on these, you can't move. So, doing combat, you probably. I don't know if you can release the camera here. Is there a way to like move the camera automatically? Cursor registration. Apply. Uh, gameplay. Girl name, smart keyboard. Ability interface, all oh, interface. Hard graphics. Alright, there's no way to like release the camera or something. I'm not sure if I can find that here. The main order. We just gotta keep walking around until we find our campfire, guys. Yoga? I don't know what that campfire was. Is this the campfire? I'm not sure. It was something like this. Maybe it was here. We'll go down. Back and down. And then we'll just find a campfire. We'll go back down here. Maybe down here or something. There it is. Fast as lightning. get to the campfire I don't automatically heal I have to click on the campfire to sit down then I can heal so we'll click on the campfire my character will sit down and then we we'll start healing
heal okay. now. And then we'll go kill one mob and then we'll come back here and heal up and then go and kill one more mob and come back here and heal up. Oh, I'm stuck. Let's get out of here. Wonder if you can make your own fireplace. All right, guys, we are going to end the stream here. here I, I think you guys have seen the basic concept. And uh, another stream. We're going to end the uh, preview here. Let's play these against these level 2 mob. Now, there are two of them. Can I aggro one? No, I only aggro two of them. And their auto attack is uh, locked on, so... I can't really do anything and the range is uh, about 12 meters. I can't really do anything about that. I'm just going to run away. away. And they are chasing me all the way. Now there is one here. Yeah, I'll attack yeah. this one. Oh, I aggro the other one. All right. Oh, no, two of them are still on me. Alright, uh, guys, we're gonna run away from this and then we're gonna heal up at the uh, fireplace and then find a place where there is uh, one mob that we can aggro at a Let's time. Alright. Oh, level six. Level six mob. I mean, I'm fine with the game being harsh, but there's like no way for me to keep up with the harshness. And not, it's not like I can't. It's that I know how I could keep up, but I just don't have the resources to keep up. So we'll go look for that fireplace again. Fast as lightning. You are, you are fast as lightning. We'll find our fireplace and we will sit here and heal up. And I'll end this the recording here. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.